Hello guys and welcome back to another video on my channel to where we will be playing the Stanley Parable Ultra I haven't Deluxe. quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be, but let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. I figure that if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting concepts, that surely the game will sort of naturally spring up around them. It'll all work itself out. Game development is much more of a fuzzy magic than anything scientific or logical, really. Oh yeah, we all have two parts of our bodies. Wait, do I have a red phone? I never noticed that. Just to make sure this is actually recording. Yes, it is recording. So today we will be we will be playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. We are in the Stanley Parable Two section because today I'll be showing you what happens if you save your jumps in the first area. I've saved twenty six jumps, so I'm going to see if we can actually use the jump circle in this. So where is the jump Here circle? Here we are. Go on, try out some of the new features. I'm pretty sure the jump circle is over here. I don't really know. But yeah, here it is. Oh, you so we what, do Stanley? keep. I actually think the jump jumps. circle was a pretty good idea. I'd like to hang on to that for the sequel. So, if you're ever playing the Stanley Purple Ultra Deluxe, save your jumps in the new content area because you can use your jumps inside the sequel. And uh, we're not going to go to the free, new, and easy achievement area yet because we know we have to beat. If you don't want spoilers, click out of this video. But if you've seen the game before, we've got to beat the game to get the achievement. I think we're going to try out another thing that I don't think I've really seen before. Going to the reassurance bucket i know everyone will be shouting in the comments this the is a key feature of, of the stanley game. parable was that it was confusing and paradoxical that it engendered a chaotic sense of reckless despair in those who played it well i am happy to say that after much consideration i've engineered a clever solution to this fundamental problem with the game it's the stanley parable reassurance bucket you see, Stanley, any time you're holding the bucket, a sense of calm and ease will fill your mind and your heart. It's true. As long as you hold onto the bucket, the many disorienting contradictions of the Stanley parable will feel perfectly normal and perhaps even comforting. So You I... may even come to long for the gentle embrace of... This... Jarring cognitive dissonance while the bucket is in your arms. And to be honest, it's a much more convenient so, solution for me. So, the thing is, we can duplicate the bucket. If we just come back here, we can get another bucket. The bucket is the perfect So, if we just grab the bucket, then we rush to the door. Even in the face of crushing despair, must already be sweeping through your body. And in fact, can I say that I do believe the bucket lends you an air of charisma as well? I think that just holding it has made you the slightest bit more attractive as a person. The benefits of the bucket seem to go on and on, don't they? All this and more await you in the Stanley Parable too. This may be the first video I upload in a while, for, for reasons. In a video game? That really no screenshots. If it isn't already. How do I take screenshots? F12. Okay, I'll be honest, I haven't yet decided on this one. I think that in the new version, the office could use a bit of decoration, like balloons. But I'm undecided on Get Well Someday and Happy 12th Birthday. Which would you go with? So, if we use reverse psychology, I want the white balloons, but I know that if I press the button, it'll activate the blue balloons. 
So if I activate the blue balloons, it will activate the white balloons. Solicit another person's opinion. It makes you realize that you knew which one you actually really wanted all along. Get well someday. It is. So now we're going to we're going to go to that. No, no. My decision. We're moving on. You know what? We're gonna go to the infinite hole next. But first, we're going to. Where is it? Here. The bottom rat says the name of the player that is playing the game. So, once again, if you don't want spoilers, click off. This will give a lot of spoilers. Can we even press these buttons? First and most obvious answer is that they want to be individually recognized and validated as people. So with that in mind, my first addition to the game is this button which speaks the name of the person playing the game. Sorry, I should have clarified. Right now. Just for reasons. The button only says the name Jim. But of course, in the final game, this button will say your name instead of the name. Here, let's have you roll for your shoes to really see. When I next get to press the button, I'm going to. Um, the full I don't think anyone has done this. I'm going to use an auto clicker on the button. Okay, here we go. Let's take a deep breath, clear your mind, forget whoever you are, and simply become a person named Jim. I want you to imagine yourself living as Jim. Sleeping and waking as Jim, falling in love and being heartbroken as Jim, seizing all of the world's possibilities as Jim, and as Jim, watching your dreams crumble into dust. Do you feel it deeply? Are you really, truly Jim right now? If so, then please step forward and press the button. Jim. <laughs> yes, you see, what a thrill, what a rush, that was you. The button described you. Do it again, do it again. Jim! It hits even harder the second time. If this were the only new feature in the Stanley Parable 2, it would still be worth the money. Let's take a break from the gym. I'm too emotionally drained from all of this personal validation. Jim! Oh, Jim! Cowboy. Jim! Jim! Too Jim! Much. Jim! 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 Okay, now we're going to, um, let's go to the hole, since that's where we will get the second bucket. Actually, that'll be last. I suppose I could allow only people named Jim to play the Stanley Parable too. We're going to go to the save me the work of finishing this feature. Has anyone noticed that? An epilogue would be fun, wouldn't it, Stanley? Yes, yes, it will go at the end of the, um, uh, well, we'll figure that out later. I only just remembered about this feature, the settings world champion. I think it's time. That all the sliders. This is the story of a pretty sure that was it. Oh no, it wasn't. Let's go again. Oh, there's more. <gasps> we got the achievement. Why is the door not open? Aha! I can see you've gotten the settings world champion achievement. Well done. You've. I'm just gonna set it all back to the normal ones now. Mm 
I have bumps, goals. Experienced every setting. Traveled to all corners of the settings menu. There's nothing you haven't seen. So, just for you, in the Stanley Parable 2, I'm including an entirely new setting. Something called Bump Scosity. What exactly is Bump Scosity? Well, I haven't quite figured that part out yet, but I just know that you'll be able to adjust it on some sort of slider and that it'll be available from the settings menu. We'll sort the rest of the details out later. I hope it's... I'm just gonna fix all of our settings. This is the story. For oh, trying out every level of bump scots. Oh, wait, I also disabled subtitles. How can we enable subtitles? In the Stanley Parable 2. Okay, this is one of the best parts of the game. The Figlies? There's still no name for them. Time to go into space. Ah! Collectibles. Now it's a real video game. In the Stanley Parable 2, you'll run around gathering up these miniature Stanley figurines. And what's truly innovative is that there will be no reward for collecting all of them. I don't want to stifle the intrinsic joy of watching a number go up. You simply collect all of them and then you move the hell on with your unremarkable life. So all these hands are all trying to get this, but we're the lucky one. So luckily we can move. Wait, can we go back? Oh, oh we blocked it off. God, it really is the worst when you collect everything in a video game and then they give you a big fancy reward for it. Absolutely tragic. Now it's the fun part. Stanley, here's an idea that I'm truly fond of. It's never been done before in a video game. This is, in fact, a hole that you can fall down forever. That's right. Infinite falling. You can fall until the end of time, if you like. A stunning leap forward for video games as a medium. You see, isn't it wonderful? One of my more ingenious concoctions, if I do say so. Now then, since you've gotten to see the infinite hole, you can press the teleport button to pop back up to the top and we can continue onward. But obviously, for everyone who knows what happens next, hmm. we're just gonna wait. To be a bummer, but I do recommend you use the teleport button to go back to the top. Maybe do it on the sooner rather than later spectrum of things. So we're just going to wait okay, indefinitely. Stanley, I don't know quite how to say this tactfully, but it's possible that I slightly exaggerated the infinite nature of the hole. Is it a very, very deep hole? To be certain it is. It's an extremely deep hole. I don't want anyone to say that it isn't an astonishingly deep hole. It is. Is it infinite? Well, that sort of depends on your definition oh, of infinite. Oh, we're reaching the bottom. From one perspective, the infinite is merely philosophical in nature. It's more of a... Okay, well, good for you. You found the bottom of the hole. You found me out, Stanley. I'm a liar and a cheat, and you're so clever. Look, I think the issue here is just that you're unusually fascinated by falling. What normal person actually wants to fall infinitely? I figured the hole was as deep as anyone would actually need. Don't you put this on me. Maybe you're the problem. <sighs> Look, uh, things got a little heated there. I think we both said some things we didn't mean. Why don't we just put all this behind us and agree to just call the hole mostly infinite? If that works for you, then go ahead and press the teleport button to warp up to the top of the hole and we can move on. I'll just be up here when you're great. Now, I'm very excited to show oh, for heaven. You see, I was right. The problem is you. The problem is that you like holes too much. Not normal. 
A normal person would have said, yep, that's an infinite hole right there. It goes on forever till the end of time. Don't need to see it all, but not okay, you. Oh, no, 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 no. You have a weird sort of... Oh. Did the hole seem even shorter to you this time? I couldn't help but feel like you spent a little less time in there than you did before. I mean, admittedly, I didn't make an infinite hole, but I didn't think it was that not infinite. Well, I suppose once again there's nothing to do here. If you decide you've had enough of the hole, you can hit the teleport button and come join me up above. Had enough? I'm positively thrilled. Gosh, how could I have guessed? You're back in the hole. If this starts to become a thing with... Wow. Okay. Yes. I'm starting to become extremely certain that the hole is not only not infinite, but that it's growing steadily less and less infinite. I suspect that I'm starting to hit the point where it's no longer feasible to call the hole infinitely deep, even by the lax overall standards for accountability and marketing. What's going on here? Stanley, I have no explanation for the uncertain nature of the hole's length. Yeah, let's try something. Let's pop back up to the top and we'll see if it gets any shorter. And anyone who knows what's happening next knows that... Um, well, there it is. Yep. The shame of my lie has come to haunt me. Not only is the hole not infinite, but it's barely even a hole at this point. It's more of a concavity, or even a very aggressive divot. Now we're going to see if we can do anything to make him... Um, oh, he doesn't say anything else unless we go back to the hole. So I think we're going to make this a series where we're just going to go into the hole. No, actually we're going to do experiments on... So we're going to be doing experiments in the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. For example, seeing what happens if you do something wrong and trying out things that YouTubers haven't really tried. I've seen a lot of YouTube videos on the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe and uh, not all of them have shown all the possibilities you can do. Like, I've not seen a single one that let us save our jumps. Now that I've finished with that explanation, we're just going to talk. I suppose there is one thing I can do to fix this. I'm out. Goodbye, Stanley. You couldn't bear to be away from the hole, and now you'll get more time with it than you could ever have asked for. It's a win for everyone. You get to be with the hole, I get to do literally anything else. Take care, Stanley. I hope you and the hole have a wonderful rest of eternity together. Now it's time that Stanley falls asleep, and we'll wake back up later. Okay, the process has begun, and now it's time. Meeting at 2 p.m. So what actually happens if we play the game at 2 p.m. and go into the area? Since it's currently 10.56 a.m.
Let's just hope none of this is copyright. It seems you had sort of dozed off there, drifting away into dreamland. But we can't have that stand, because this hole is just so darn fascinating that I want you to be wide awake for every second of it. You don't want to miss a single moment. So how about if I just pop in from time to time and wake you up to keep you really truly free? So now, I'm from pretty sure we should come back many, many to this area. In this hole, and I'm looking forward to all of them. Stay alert, Stanley. I'll be back. Okay, now we just have to wait. If you've been wondering why I've been taking screenshots of this, it's just so good. So now, as you can see, we're heading back. But, this time, we've got the bucket. Here we are. Go on, try out some of the new and everything has reset including the bucket I'm pretty sure it should reset I must be getting this wrong So I'm pretty sure the problem here is we've got to come back to this area later. Well, I'm pretty sure that's all we could do in this area. Oh yeah, the achievements. Wait, can we recollect with Stanley? No, we can't. So... We're going to get this achievement, head up there, and that'll be the end for this video. So, I hope you've now enjoyed this so far. Special. You remember that broken test achievement that got left in the game on accident? Well, I'm developing a technology to simply... That red cylinder right you here. The achievement. That is actually the escape pod. Yes. You see, you'll come to this lever, and when you pull it, the achievement will be given to you. It's as simple as that. Okay, perhaps I should have clarified. This is technology that will exist. Right now, the achievement is still fully broken. I'm not a wizard, Stanley, but I guarantee it will be fixed in a second to at last satisfy the hordes of ravenous fans all over the world who have been uproariously demanding this feature. Gamers, we hear you, and I promise it will happen. So, I promise, for no spoilers, click off this video again. So, at the end of the game, once you've beaten the epilogue, you should be able to get this achievement. So, that's all we had to do for this video. I hope you've enjoyed. And, uh, just gonna head back up. And, uh, end the video. What else? What other exhibits haven't we seen yet? Still fascinated that we actually kept up jumps. Okay, that's perfect. We can see inside the geometry of the TV. And uh, for upcoming events, we will be doing the hunt next time. 
next video and that is mainly it so remember to stay alert for oh, this is the wrong area <laughs> This is where we've got to go. I think I'm a bit lost. Oh, the exit. Wait, can we re trigger the dialogue? No, we can't. Oh, and um. Oops. I, I don't think we see 999 in the game. Okay. Now, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!